Welcome back everybody to Forza Motorsport, so today we're going to be starting the German Rivals Championship. So uh, yeah, five races, so as per usual, two in this episode and three in the next episode. So let's see the kind of cars we're going to be racing in. An epic rivalry between German motorsports giants that started in the factory and continues today in the shop and on the track fueling the innovation to create three inspired sports sedans. The BMW M3 with its race-proven handling, the Audi S4's legendary Quattro all-wheel drive, and the mighty AMG-powered Mercedes-Benz C-Class. The performance difference between them isn't major. Winning will come down to how smart they're built and how brilliantly they're driven. Well, I'd say there's quite a massive performance difference to be honest with the Mercedes comfortably being way slower than either of the other two. Um, BMW is probably the quickest of the three. I imagine this is the lightest of the them. So uh, yeah, 333 horsepower, 262 pounds feet of torque, weighing in at 3,415 pounds but crucially also has 50-50 weight distribution. Mercedes ever so slightly more in the way of power, 16 extra horsepower. A good amount of extra torque though, 70 extra pounds feet of torque, but as you can see it does weigh more and there's a lot more weight up front than there is at the rear, so yeah, not particularly well balanced and it is also only in C-Class, so that does show what it's like and yeah, as you can see by the stats, apparently the acceleration is better, but I wouldn't believe that to be honest. Um, I'd believe speed is more, but yeah, handling and braking as you can see is way better on the BMW. And then when you get to the Audi, well you've got 340 horsepower, so more than the Mercedes, uh, BMW, slightly less than the Mercedes. More torque in the Audi than the BMW, but less than what's in the Mercedes, and way heavier than both again. Purely because of the all-wheel drive system, which also, as you can see, makes the weight distribution a lot higher at the front than at the rear. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go for the BMW. I don't typically drive BMWs from, uh, for the most part. A lot of them just don't float my boat, but yeah, this is definitely the best of the three. It's got the nearly as good as acceleration as a Mercedes, but the handling and the braking is way better. And yeah, with that 50 50 weight distribution, you're going to have a much more balanced car. Whereas the Audi, yeah, it's probably going to sound the best with that beautiful sounding V8 engine, but yeah, as you can see, handling and braking isn't that great, and the acceleration is way down. And the Mercedes, yes, it does have the pure power, but and I'm sure it will rock it in a straight line in certain regards but it's going to be a lot softer and it's a lot heavier so yeah we're going to go for the BMW like I said not something I normally go for uh, but yeah let's get it in a uh, get it in blue spend 90 grand on it so yeah, um, one part of this game that I didn't forgot about in the previous championship is now that upgrades can be just bought outright, which is great, uh, which is something I'm going to uh, do after this first race. So uh, yeah, we're at Nürburgring GP circuit for five laps. So yeah, I like to just see what the car's capable of in the first race uh, in stock form, and then we'll uh, upgrade it from there on in. Um, because we can upgrade it straight away, uh, I'll upgrade it in uh, the manner that I would like to upgrade it straight from the off. To celebrate the opening than, of the Nurburgring you know, Grand Prix circuit, a group of the very best road racers battled so. it out in identical Mercedes 190E 2.3 so, um, V16s in a 1984 exhibition. Yeah, I much prefer the fact that you can just upgrade straight away now. It's the way it should have been from the off, you know, it's worked in every Forza game ever since the series started. No reason for that to change. It only pretty much broke this game from the off, quite frankly. Right, so yeah, we'll drop the fuel way back to seven laps. Go. Let's see what we can do on the Nurburgring. So, yeah, obviously, German car, German track should do well here. Like I said, it is way more balanced than the Audi or the Mercedes.
about this. It's a really, really good comic. You see why I love it. has gotten us to first Great place work. position, we finished P1. gaining 11 places over where we started. Um, we do technically have the best lap, but it was an early lap, probably because we clipped the back of another car at some point, but still, the points are what matter at the end of the day, and that has given us 28 points to start with. So, yeah, great position to start this championship off with. So let's see if we can continue that with the next race. For that, we'll uh, upgrade. So, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about those silly CP points or whatever they're called. We can just go all in and get it up to the top of B class. So, tyres, widen those, up front and rear. We'll do the compound. Sport, yeah. Uh, brakes. I said they were good, but we can make them even better. 
springs. Lower it a little bit. Knock out a little bit of weight. What does that do for us? Yep. Good. Engine. Oh, we'll throw in a race flywheel just so the engine can rev harder and faster. We'll give it a new air filter. Throw it up to 3, 4, 6. Ignition. Oh, I like a big displacement. So what can we throw it up to? Oh no, that'd be too much for the uh, class, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. Valves. I like to have an even number. So do pardon me if I'm go all over the place trying to find the right combination. Or not back to the air filler. Three five five. Eight, five, seven. Oh, we could get 360 out of it if we knock some of that. Right, we'll just reduce the flywheel. Right, so we've got 360. That's good. Drivetrain. Well, we can gain some. Well, reduce some weight back after losing the flywheel by uh, reducing the weight of the driveline to a race one. So yeah, that'll definitely help. Give it a better clutch to deal with all our extra power. Throwing some anti roll bars. No, we can't do the rear. Oh well, the front will do. Alright, so there we go. So, as you can see, we now um, have to get more car points. So, as you can see, that only costs us 23,850 credits. As opposed to 2,650 CP, which would take you a hell of a lot of races just to get up to that amount of CP. So, you know, do I care about it being a bit of a shortcut, just buying them outright rather than, you know, racing consistently? No, I don't. Right, so tuning right wise, we're now up to 4.203 seconds to 60, 10.315 seconds to 100. We can do 181 miles an hour and we're getting 1.20 or more G up to 60 or 120 mile an hour so yeah that's pretty good so uh, yeah let's see what we can do on the mid Ohio sports car course not the biggest of tracks certainly are, uh, aren't that much in the way of overtaking spots because it is quite a narrow circuit in places the mid Ohio sports car circuit but features Thunder Valley do well named for the roaring engine and there. but you'll be making noise everywhere on this demanding track Let's see what we can do. If it doesn't take forever just to load a simple race. Right, there we go. Right, so we've got five laps again, but this is a much smarter, uh, shorter track, so... Shouldn't take us long here. Especially now that we have more power and better handle.
they get their edge. Yeah, they have the same amount of capacity, I think. Uh, yeah, there's a V6 and stuff.
I do feel like it's the BMW that is, uh, giving us a win no more than my uh, driving skills, but as you can see the PI difference is also going to be helping, which is a bit odd. You'd think the uh, AI would upgrade their cars to the same kind of level as me, rather than being, you know, 20 odd PI points behind. But regardless, that gives us another win, so there we go, we got another 28 points. So, yeah, we've got a decent lead, but that could easily be, uh, you know, eroded away in the next three races. But we'll have to wait and see until the next episode for those. So, uh, yeah, but nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.